Hello. And welcome to my tutorial how to make stealth, action game like Payday, Entry Point, Notoriety etc. Today I am going to show you how to use my plugin that I made for those type of games, so let's get started. You can get the plugin from my game called Piggy Criminals and Heists. Now, there are two links. Which are model and plugin. Model is bit outdated, but I am going to show you how to use plugin instead model because it's faster to export stuff from model into the game. I'll also put that link into description. Down now let this plugin and then open up Roblox Studio. When you open up the plugin, it can get messy, so just resize it. There are three options. In the menu there are some information, such as help, updates log and guide that helps you how to make basics game mechanic. But don't worry, I am going to show you how to export all mechanics and how to use them. Objective Maker is in progress but it's not functioning perfectly yet. Right now, let's export some game mechanics. There is also lobby system but that will get its own video next time. As you can see, a lot of stuff are now inside of your game. Now let's make a simple map. Ok, after map has been made, it's time to make some spawns. Starting with sniper spawn. Snipers are dudes that spawn when loud is triggered, and they usually stand there and shoot targets aka heisters. Oh and also make sure that you put player spawns because friendly bots will spawn on spawn location. Now let's get the most important part, Assault Spawns. Assault Spawn is a spawn for enemies, usually assault enemies. You can put them wherever you want and you can even duplicate them but make sure that enemies can reach player's path. In future I might make that you can enable and disable Assault Spawn but right now Assault Enemies spawn on all spawns. Next up is the civilian point or like I like to call fleet point. This is the spawn that can spawn civilians or it can be used for point of escape. By default, civilians can spawn right on the escape point. But to turn off that, you need to find civilians or here value and turn it to false. In case you want that style like entry point does, you can turn it on but you have to modify the civilian which I am going to show you that in other video. Next up is the door. It's simple just put it in wherever you want. By default it will be unlockable, but to make them locked you can turn on option on door model called pick lock and turn it to true. Next up are the assets. It's easy to add them you just need to change the cost of slew and done. Maybe one day I might make video for custom items as well. Just change the cost value higher than zero and you can have it in assets. There are also safes. Nothing much to say about it, just add it in and you're done. You can also change its drill timer value but that's optional. Next up is the drop zone. In the beginning of the heist, drop zone will be invisible, but it will become visible only when objective number value is reached. About objective value, it's used for making dialogues some special events and objectives but that will get its own video. To make drop zone visible from beginning, just type 0 and show objective value. Next up are the guards. Guards will get its own video, as well as the camera guard and camera, it's easy to add them from making a stealthable mission. So let's skip that and move on. Oh forgot to mention about friendly bot waypoints. They are used if you want bots to move towards random waypoints instead of just moving from random position to random position. Nothing much to say about it but if you don't want friendly bot waypoint in mission, 
Just delete whole folder and you're done. The last thing I wanna talk about that's mostly problematic, is the beginning cutscene. A lot of users requested me to tell them how it works. So I'll just explain in few steps. Step 1, change the name of the mission. Step 2, position your cutscenes. Step 3, make sure THST cutscenes are connected. In main camera there is something called next. Just press OM empty value and select the next cutscene camera. In cutscene cam repair there is also time value. Time value is how much camera takes time to slide from one part to second. That's everything you need to know to MSQ your own basic heist. I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you have something left to say comment me down below. Join my discord, link is in the description. I am going to leave you with this preview now. Thanks for watching. Oh.